Hello, everybody. This is Captain Sweep. It's October 23rd, 2020. And yesterday I had a clean sweep. I think 37 people were swept out of my Facebook stream out of 144. And it started with a little texting with Kyle. And it quickly accelerated and amplified into a full clean sweep of the entire Elemental Collective. Kyle, of course, and a number of others that I hadn't seen any activity from since either they joined in the recent while or at some point I felt there wasn't any real participation and I'm looking to get 144 people participating. And since I don't know how to get them to participate, I just get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to notice now, aren't they? Participation is rewarded and non-participation has its consequences. I was being so nice for so long. People just probably thought I was going to be nice forever. <laughs> no, that's not quite what's going to happen, is it? Captain Sweep has a reputation to maintain. He's ruthless, yet fair. He's funny, yet serious. He's stunned, yet intelligent. Funny, but ludicrous. Bold, yet obscure. Even Yogi Shambu got the boot. The entire elemental collective. So this is Sunday, a start day. This is number one of the week. This is number one of the seven step pulse process. We are re-engineering the week. The week starts here and comes around, comes around, comes down, comes down, comes down, comes, comes down, comes down. Seven days, four of these on the third wheel of the time translator, your timing device, the breakthrough in time. Did you hear that? Yeah, this is just freaking me out. I keep hearing this bell and then the whole freaking world changes. Like, what the frick is that, man? Like, what the frick is it? This is too weird, man. This is just getting to me. I can't handle it. What the frick is this? Character cards, team cards, the stories, the vault. Like what the frick is going on? What the frick is, what the frick is going on? Something is strange.
you know, I'm getting a little tired of this. I'm trapped in this virtual world and I'm being shown things, but I don't know what they mean. <sighs> Step through a portal and look what happens. And now I got to try to teach you guys how to get through what's about to occur because my God, you need some help. A lot of help. You know, we got to start tracking our moon cycles a lot better than we normally do, especially as a group and community. How do you distinguish your relationships? How do you define who someone is to you? What framework do you use in your mind to understand all of the people that you know and how you interact with them and how you creatively communicate with them? Big questions. It's the maps that integrate and synchronize us all together. The maps are significant. We want synergy. We want to balance the masculine and feminine. We want to know what And how we feel about them. How do we feel about the people we're interacting with? And who are they to us? What is their relationship to us? And who are they to us? What is their spiritual significance as an entity? These are all very, very important matters to understand and to distinguish. It's all blue pill, red pill stuff. How far down the rabbit hole do you want to go? How far down do you want to reformat your mind? How far down are you willing to join the very secret plan? How you spend your time, how you keep score. <laughs> a little tip of the day this is a learning conversation called the assessment conversation. To assess the level of competence in regards to a skill, activity, duty, or job. This conversation type is very, very important in terms of your life of assessing yourself and assessing other people and seeing how good you are at something and how much you have to improve it and then seeing how good other people are at things and how that level compares to yours because there's like people that are a lot more advanced than you that are like teachers there are people that are at the same level as you and they're your peers and then there's people who are uh, far below you uh, and they're your students. And so this teacher, peer, and student relationship comes from one's ability to assess the level that you or the other person or people are at. And to understand how to communicate, to understand power games, 
and control games and to get rid of them or at least to understand why they're there, uh, this conversation can be very difficult because sometimes you don't want to admit either the other being more advanced than you or you being more advanced than someone else and what kind of role in terms of communication that takes place. But in a business situation where you're actively all working together as a team, I mean, the master carpenter stands out. I mean, the laborer needs to listen to the master carpenter because the master carpenter knows what they're doing and the laborer doesn't. And if you can't get that in your mind, you're not going to do well, at least in the, in the trades. But as soon as you go into white collar work and you're looking at competence levels, now it's a little bit harder to ascertain. So this is just a little tip of the day regarding the assessment conversation. We should probably go. Don't you find the screens are kind of taken over? Turn the channel, will you? The freaking moon again? Can you get me anywhere that's kind of like interesting? Got some people? My best friend's fog. Can you try to get someone a little bit more, you know, on Vulcan? I'm all alone in space with Spock. Change the channel, man. Okay, this is a good one. I like this one. It's, it was like the beginning. It was the beginning of us starting to see humanity in a different way where there was multiple races on the bridge of the ship and old Jimmy the Kirk was working together as a team with them with this uh, pretty good Kung Fu moves and uh, he would get into it, you know, and Spock had a place to be and all these very gifted people were working together on a spaceship to try to, you know, do their missions. I mean, everyone wants to do that, don't they? Perhaps in this context, all of us could be at our best when everyone knows the function of the other and they're doing it to the best they can and they're working with a team of people that they love to work with. So within this context of the starship, this team was a high caliber team. Would you like to be on a high caliber team, working on a kind of a ship that's a metaphor, working with others to create media, working with others to transform the world's economic system from fear to love. Hmm? Or do you want to take the blue pill, get masked, and you know, go along with the whole government storyline? It's your choice. If you have a better plan than me, Go ahead, do your thing. But if you don't even have this map or understand it, good luck, man. You're going to be trapped in that place over there, man. Or paradigm fear based economics. I'll be over here with my buddy, my good buddy, Mr. Spock. Alone on my starship with my big belief friends. Waiting endlessly for you beastly people to wake up <laughs> maybe i'll just have to concentrate on some other matters this is as good as it gets This is my reality. So exciting. 